last. That bet is no more. Yet again, we are unlucky. But we'll be back. Form guide has given track one in the selection and uh, the racing post has given track one as well. I actually fancy four and six. I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. But it's not always that you go for what they give it. I mean, if everybody backed what they gave in the book, they'd be ripped millionaires. Which they probably are, and I don't know about it. <laughs> and that was my banker in the straight four. £22 down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What are we going to do now? What am I going to do now? The last session wasn't quite as successful as the first. I'm down now to about 6,000 chips. I had to pass a few big hands. Um, the strategy changed a little bit now because we're getting to the stage where if I am into a pot, I need to start being prepared to play for my whole stack. So the table to either uh, go bust on or double through. So that's one in. Why am I writing this diary? The main reason is that sitting here thinking about it, I have quite a respectable amount of poker knowledge and yet find it inexplicably difficult to follow my advice while sitting at the green base. All serious poker players should keep an exact record of, their, of all their wins and all their losses. So at the end of the year, no matter what they think, they can sit down and they've got a record in black and red of exactly how much they're on profit or exactly how much they've lost. When you're trying to analyse whether you're doing the right things, there's, there's no way to analyse it unless you're 100% sure whether it's consistently making you money or whether it's consistently losing you money. Come on, you Spurs! Trap six. It's actually called that. It's good to see. Come on, you Spurs. That is a winning ticket. Five, 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 five. Oh, winning, go by. A long way last. It's just taking over now when the, when the race is over. It's too late when the race is over, isn't it? You can't take over when the bunny, you know, it's first on the bunny, yeah, but like not first past the winning line. Come on, you Spurs. No wonder Spurs are at the bottom of the fucking Premier League. <laughs> I say, I pick them. Basically, the session started pretty disastrously. So I decided after a little while to put it all in and someone unfortunately has called, has called me with aces. You know, he's, he's disguised his hands and it's worked for him. So yeah, so I'm out. I see myself in the game for life and I see myself improving. In, in five or so years, I hopefully intend to be regularly playing some of the top events um, around the country and around the world. And there's no point in my poker career where I've thought that I was a worse player than I had been previously. Queen, ten, Poker's addictive side is something that everyone has to watch out for. We all love the game so much that we all have some small form of addiction to it. Um, and it's about keeping that under control and making sure that that doesn't actually become a negative addiction or a full-on addiction and and make sure that um, that yeah that it, it's not affecting 
the other things that are important in, in our lives. I'm not sure that anything would ever make me quit poker because I love the game enough that even if I never improved from, from the level I'm at now, I would, I would almost certainly be continue being a recreational player at, at these levels. Um, the only thing that would, that would really stop me playing poker is if I ran out of money. Give me the action, give me the action, bad boys and keep it a scratching, give me that action, give me that action, yeah, bus one's all love that action, give me the action, give me that. <laughs> I've done alright, I've come out on top, so it's a bonus, you know, past three times I've come up here, I've come out on top, which is very rare, because like, I've done ultimate amounts of dough up here. Money's money, you know, it comes it goes. This is Buzz Barrow now. It's been a great day at Cobble Hove Ground Stadium. Definitely brilliant day. I will come up again. Peace. Welcome to another glorious day at the races. The runners have left the paddock. Some of these horses look great at the parade. Lucky's been heavily backed to two to one, but we think of three to one. Some of the smart money might be on champion. They're entering the stalls, the last one's in, and they're off. Straight out the stalls. Already been to sweat. Not thinking about the race, just thinking about the bet. You know, starting with the one, and now I'm left with the school. And you know, we saw one in the pond, this last horse. Well, a two to one, you think I don't really want. But it's anybody's race before the race is done. If a horse wins the race, well, then I'm number one. And I just think to myself that every race is one. But I've been told for both days that people think that. Yeah. 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 You thought I was gone, didn't you? Going, going. You see me coming, but you did not know I'm going now. I'm going, 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 going.